Our guide for the day was Dan, or as we called him, Dan the Bear Man. Dan was a wealth of knowledge. He pointed out a variety of animal tracks, including deer, badger, wolf, wild boar, and of course, bear. Most of the sightings of We came across many signs that there was a bear nearby, including hair that was stuck to some tree sap, and fresh droppings which Dan claimed were only a few hours old. Dan also introduced us to some native insects, like the purple emperor butterfly, the Rosalia logicon, and some rose chafers. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see any bears on our trek, but we did get to see some amazing scenery. And when all else failed, we were still able to visit the bears at the Bear Sanctuary. The Bear Sanctuary is home to around 70 bears and one wolf, which were rescued from hotels, circuses, monasteries and zoos around Romania. They no longer suffer in tiny cages, but are free to roam around huge enclosures. These bears have never known life outside of a cage so releasing them into the wilderness would be a death sentence, as they would not be able to adapt in the wild. Tourists are allowed to visit for two hours a day. This is to raise the much needed funds to keep the sanctuary in operation, while at the same time having minimal impact on the bears. This new arrangement isn't perfect, but it's much better than their previous lives.